right, so I've made a large update to the OS4 library. Um, so I'm adding responsive swing as an enhancement now. And I've added a lot of different options. So with, uh, res with responsive swing, it basically allows you to create an effect or a color that's triggered by how quick you're moving your blade. So with a little bit of movement, this is a, just a white swing. So a little bit of movement gets brighter and then a fast swing turns white. And you can set the threshold for the speed you need. But now you can add, instead of in the past, there would be a style built with either the white swing or the color swing or uh, unstable swing, etc. Now, as an enhancement, you can check, pick any of the base styles you want and you can add the responsive swing effect. So it allows you to mix and match and put together your own um, enhancement. So. And then this is a going to be a bright version. And what the bright color version is, is it keeps the same base. So the white obviously goes white. The bright color just brightens the color, but it stays in the same color family. And again, it's based on the speed of your swing. So very quick swings will be the brightest. And then a little bit of swing will be a little bit less. So if you don't want pure white, you can choose the bright color. Oops. And then you can also do effects. So this is going to be an unstable white swing. And a little bit of movement, you'll see that it start to appear. And then quick swing, I get that unstable effect running across the entire blade. And there's a lot of options. You can do unstable white, you can do unstable color, you can do unstable bright. So now this is an unstable color, so it's the base color, has no uh, action on it. But as I move it, it'll start to get unstable. And the fastest swing is the most unstable. Now this version is going to be a white fire, so again, static bleed, but as I move it, you'll start to see that fire effect appear, and it's in white. And then the quickest swing, I get the white flame effect. So all these different effects, plus all the different colors, really give you unique looks when you swing them. And you can play around with them. This is a this is going to be the pixelate so this one the faster you swing it it actually pixelates the color and it, it's similar to unstable it's a little different pattern but again it's based on the speed of your swing so a little bit isn't a lot but really quick you get that pixelation of the blade This is a strobe, and this one has the strobe color. Or no, this is a white strobe. So as you swing it, you actually get a strobe effect. Now, the camera has a hard time with strobe effects because of how quick it's happening, but your eye can definitely see that strobe-like effect, especially when you swing really fast. So this one, I'm not sure how the camera's gonna react to it, but it's just a very unique look. especially persistence of vision with that strobe effect. And now this one is unique. This I'm calling the Omnicolor. So the color of your swing actually just continuously cycles through the full spectrum. So each swing is actually going to be a different color mix. When your blade is still, it's going to be your base color. But as you swing, it actually is rotating through all the colors continuously. So each swing you do is a very different color. And the speed of your swing also changes it, so you stay more close to your base, and then quick swings will go to that full color. 
it. So just kind of a fun operation. And that's Omnicolor. And now with the enhancements, I've actually also added two new features for uh, responsive swing. So all those were full blade. Now in the enhancement screen, you can actually choose two other options. So you can have full blade or you can choose uh, cutting edge. And cutting edge is going to be only the upper half of your blade is affected. So this will have an unstable white only at the top half. And especially when you swing really quick, it's a really cool effect because it looks like the edge of the blade slicing through the air is changing it. And you can add any of the effects that are for responsive swing can be done as cutting edge, which means that the base blade stays the same, or the bottom half of the blade stays the same, but that upper half makes that change, particularly those of you who are really quick at spinning and stuff. It just produces a really cool effect. So that was cutting edge. And then I have responsive edge, and what that is, is a little bit of swing will get the tip right, but the faster swing will actually extend that cutting edge section. And really fast swings make it the largest it can be. So it responds in terms of brightness, but also size, to how quick you're swinging. And again, any of the other effects can be applied. So this is just a white one, but you can put any of the effects in, and you're able to create that now as a responsive edge. And then lastly, what I've done is I've also made it so you can choose whether you want that responsive swing all the time, uh, so always on, or if you want to make it a force effect or a force boost. Um, so force boost is already in the library, but now, just to expand on it, you can pick any of the responsive swings. You can set them up full blade, you can set them up cutting edge, you can set them up responsive edge, and then you can turn it into a force boost. And what a force boost is, is when you do the force effect, it'll actually give you a 30 second boost on your blade. So this one has no effect on it when I'm swinging. But when I do the force effect, this one now has an unstable, oh no, this is a, this is just a white swing. Oh no, this is an audio flicker, I'm sorry. Audio flicker white on the swing. So that force boost will last for 30 seconds where I'm gonna have that white effect on my swing, and again, the speed of the swing changes it. And then after 30 seconds, it wears off, and you can just do your forced effect again. So if you don't want to always have that uh, color swing or white swing or any of those uh, swing effects, you set it up as a, a force boost, and then you control when it goes on and off. Um, so it's a 30 second runtime, you can always change that, um, but that gives you that option. And then I did another, this is also a force boost, but this is just a different effect. So this is a force boost with the cutting edge, and it's an unstable white cutting edge. So again, it's going to last for 30 seconds, but it gives me that unstable look only in the upper half of the blade. And it only runs for 30 seconds. So you can mix and match all the features and choose to have them either on all the time or have them as a force boost and really just enjoy and play around with them and see what they look like. So all the ones I've built all look completely different and they do different things. Um, and then again, after 30 seconds with force boost, that swing effect goes away so you can go back to using your blade as normal. Um, so lots of options in the library. Um, any of the styles that have customized enhance now, you can apply these to um, and you know, uh, just test them out. Um, you know, hope you enjoy.